Kandinsky is a Russian artist and art theorist born in 1866. He is thought to be one of the pioneers of abstract art. Kandinsky studied at Grekov Odessa Art School as a child before studying law and economics in Moscow. He began life drawing and sketching again at the age of 30. He later moved to Munich to study at several art schools and returned to Moscow in 1914 after the outbreak of World War I. He then later taught at the Bauhaus School of Art until 1933 when it was sadly closed by the Nazis. Kandinsky was greatly inspired by music, often naming his works as compositions. It is thought that he had synesthesia, which is where the mind mixes colours with sound and music. This would explain Kandinsky's lifelong fascination with colours and sounds. I recommend referring back to these images I've shown you and find some more of Kandinsky's work as we go through the workshop as they will act as a great source of inspiration as you create your own piece. To join in today you will need some gouache or acrylic paint, a paintbrush or tea, some thick paper, some round objects, a ruler and a pencil and a black pen. create a background. If you look at Kandinsky's work, it's very rare he would paint on a white surface. So I'm going to start off with a few ochres, whites, yellows, a bit of blue and purple to create a nice mixed interesting background to start my work on rather than having a plain white. This can also make it slightly less scary to get going as you don't have a big white canvas in front of you. just thought to share was tape your paper down if you're just using paper rather than a canvas it just makes it a lot easier to work on and it means it will dry a lot flatter too so always tape it down if you can I just use some masking tape by the way objects and you're going to want to draw around them so you can create full circles or you can do semicircles. you can play around with different lines here is where I really recommend having a look at Kandinsky's compositions for inspiration as to shapes and ways of creating interesting forms that maybe overlap or interlock so you can go a bit mad and just Maybe put on some music, that would be a really great start as well, so that you can get a feel for maybe how Kandinsky would have worked and enjoy just creating some marks in areas that we're going to be filling with our gibberish.
happy with your initial composition, you want to start filling some areas with gouache. Now you can always go back in and add new shapes and new marks later on, but I recommend getting quite a few different block colours down. And think about colour theory and also think about the colours that Kandinsky uses. So often they're quite bright, but then you'll have a couple of maybe more pastel colours, maybe more muted tones to really add to the interest in the composition. So play around, have fun, and there's kind of like no wrong answer. You can't really go too wrong. We're doing abstract painting. So if you make a, what you might think of as a mistake, you know, you can play around with that. So don't worry. It's all, it's all about having fun and experimenting.
piece is to grab a black pen and outline some areas of shapes or maybe some of those pencil marks you did earlier or maybe some new marks altogether. Again, have a look at some of his compositions to inspire you with your own pen mark making and this will really help bring the whole piece together. inspired abstract painting. Enjoy and give it a go!